This spider sunny patch friends encourages preschoolers to explore the diversity of the world around them, to discover nature and living things, and to share and care by supporting social and emotional development. <laughs> in your beds. Aww. Mom, will you read us a bedtime story? Yeah, a story. Please tell us a story, Mom. Story, story, yeah. story. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah, Mom. Well, maybe just one. Yeah. 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 Thanks, Thanks, Mom. Now, what kind of a story would you like to hear? Tell us one about kings with big pointy crowns. No, about dragons and scaly slither monsters. Pirates, tell us about pirates. Arr. I'm not sure pirates are such a good bedtime story. I think Wiggles got a good point there. I know. How about a story about flowers? Flowers? Ew. I want to hear the story of the Marin Rose and the Knights of the Round Toadstool. Yeah, Knights and Toadstools are almost as fun as dragons. Hmm, I like it so far. Then all of you curl up and get cozy. Once, in the far ago and long away, there was a king. <sighs> Woe is me. Being king is so boring. Bring me my royal stinkster. Uh-huh. <laughs> Oops. At your service, Shia. How best can I amuse you? I don't know. Not even my royal garden excites me anymore. Really, Shia? You, you don't enjoy the tulips or the trilliums? Tedious, weedious. What about the bluebells and buttercups? Bothersome blooms. And the daffodils, uh, the daisies, the dandelions? Dreary, dismal, dull as dust. Hmm. Maybe you need to add something new to your garden, Sire. I have heard tales of a rare flower, the last one of its kind, located somewhere in the meadow beyond the mists. Hmm, the last of its kind? Uh-huh. It's said to be the most beautiful and sweetly scented flower in all the world. It's called the Marin Rose. The Marin Rose? Fetch me this flower, for a rose by any other name doth stink. Um, Sire, I'm not really a royal flower-fetching kind of bug. I'm more of a royal funny bone tickler. <laughs> See? Hence the hat. Silence, fool. Call out my knights of the round toadstool. Greetings, Your Mighty Majesty. You summoned the Knights of the Round Toadstool? Yes. I'm sending you on a quest. A great journey to find a treasure. Huzzah! Huzzah! And I can assure you that it'll be full of pitfalls and perils. Pitfalls and perils? Huzzah! Sir Bounce, pitfalls and perils are dangerous things. They are? <laughs> can I take back my huzzah? Worry not, Sir Bounce. We are brave Knights of the Round Toadstool, and we're ready, sire. Then I command you to venture forth to the meadow beyond the mists and bring me back the one, one and only... Marin Rose. Rose. <sighs> then what, Mom? <laughs> and so the knights set forth on their long and perilous journey, past the Colby Caves and through the brambles of Brenna, until they came to Carly's Bad Canyon. <laughs> I don't know. The walls look too steep and crumbly, even for me to climb. It's way too big for me to bounce across. Okay, let's go home. Bounce? We winged knights can fly over it, but I think you two bugs are a tad heavy to carry. There must be some way we can all get to the other side. <gasps> it's a slither monster. I I <laughs> Hey, where's Shimmer? Hey there, you silly old slither monster. 
silly. What is she doing? She's gone buggy. Come on, Miss Hisselot. Bet you can't bite me. Stand still and say that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are you waiting for? I'm just a light snack. <gasps> traveled on, searching day and night for the meadow beyond the mist and their prize, the Marin Rose. Hmm, even the frogs are quiet. Scary quiet. Ah oh no, I ran! Save to me, helpless bunny! Prepare to be boarded! Quick. Reverse course. The current is too strong. We're gonna drift right to them. I have an idea. What? Cannonball. <gasps> Ready, aim, circles away. <laughs> like poking. Finally, after many more adventures, the brave knights reached the meadow beyond the mist, where they discovered... <gasps> the Marin Road! Oh. Pretty, pretty rose. <sighs> it's the most beautiful flower I've ever seen. Yeah. Let's pick it and get out of here. Not now. Not after seeing it. Yeah, if we cut it down, it'll get all brown and wilty. Wilty? Yeah, wilty. But we can't disobey the king. So what are we going to do? We have to bring him a flower. And so we will. Shia! Yo, Shia! They're back! The knights of the round toadstool are home from the quest. Your Royal Majesty, my comrades and I have returned from a great adventure. Yes, yes, but where is the... We bested the Slither Monster of Carly's Bad Canyon. Fine, very brave, but... We vanquished the Pirates of Pearl Scum Pond. <laughs> Most heroic, but what I really want to see is my man. Then we continued our quest to the meadow beyond the mist. Enough! A rose, a rose, my kingdom for a rose. Of course, sire. Here it is, the most beautiful flower in all the world. <gasps> <gasps> what is this? What happened to the Marin Rose? You did order us to cut it down, Your Highness. What did you expect, sire? Zoons. By sending you to pick the flower, I destroyed it. Oh, what a rogue and peasant spider am I. I have robbed the world of the last Marin <laughs> Rose. <laughs> Isn't this a joke or something? Be of good cheer, Your Majesty. The Marin Rose is not dead. Not dead? But this flower... It's just a wilted flower we found on the way home. We knew if we picked the rose, it would die. So we left the Marin Rose exactly where we found it. Happy and alive. If you want to see it, Your Majesty, and smell its sweet perfume, we can lead you right to it. Lead on, Dame Shimmer. I never saw true beauty till this day. I hereby decree that the Marin Rose shall be allowed to grow and bloom for all to enjoy. No one shall pick, pluck, pull, or prune this most beautiful of all flowers ever again. Huzzah! And so the king, the knights of the round toadstool, all the bugs of the kingdom, and the Marin Rose... ...lived happily ever after. Oh. <sighs> Hey, guys! This is one way the knights could have crossed Carly's Bad Canyon. Bugs away! Squirt, are you okay? 
Hey, guys! It's like the one in the storybook. The Marin Rose. Yeah. Let's pick it and bring it home for Mom. Good idea. What? That's what the knights in the storybook did, right? No. Don't you remember, Dragon? If you pick the flower, it will die. Shimmer's right. Shimmer's right. Somebody better tell him that. Hmm. What are you doing, Spideris? I saw this flower from my web high in the trees. I'm going to pluck it and bring it home as a present to my wife. But if you do that, the rose will die. Oh, that'll take days. Until it does, I'll have a sweet-smelling home and a happy spindella. But that's not how it worked in the story. Hmm. I have an idea for an even better present. Really? Oh, it's the most beautiful flower I've ever seen. Thank you for showing it to me, Spideris. Seeing it and enjoying its heavenly fragrance is a wonderful present. Oh, <laughs> no, that's not the present. This had better work, Beetle. It will. It's a bag? A bag of seeds. From the rose, so we can grow them all over Sunny Pat. Oh, that is such a thoughtful idea. Uh, I am? <laughs> I mean, it is? Good plan, sis. How'd you think of it? Oh, I just asked myself one question. What would a knight of the round toad still do? Yeah! What can I do for you two? We were um, just wondering if you could um, possibly spare a small or even medium or, well, a cup of honey? Uh-oh. Uh, there's been a most unfortunate accident in the tunnels. A cave -in has buried our honey stores. <gasps> the queen is rather hungry at the moment. It famished, really. And since there's a shortage of honey in Sunny Patch, we're in a bit of a pickle, <laughs> food-wise. <laughs> oh, you poor ants. Of course we can spare <gasps> a bit of honey. Mom, we don't have any honey to give them. I ate the last drop. We still have one acorn full left. We do? Mm-hmm. But this is the last of it. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Shh, don't blow it. But if you give it to them, we won't have any. We can't always just think of ourselves, Bounce. We have to be good to bugs, all bugs. Uh, oh, thank you. You're very generous. And we will gladly pay you back the moment we find the amber treasure. <gasps> amber treasure? What amber treasure? You haven't heard? The pill bug heard it from the snail who heard it from a butterfly. Who heard hey. it from a gnat? Huh? Who heard it from the cockroach? There's an abandoned honeycomb somewhere in Sunny Patch. <gasps> Why would bees leave behind a honeycomb? That's where they keep their honey. Sometimes when a honeycomb gets old, the honeybees leave it behind to build a new one. Oh, now everyone is going buggy trying to find it. Well, better get back to the colony. Thanks again. Did you hear that? A treasure hunt. For a lost treasure. Let's find it. Bye, Mom. Bye. Hold on. Finish your breakfast first. <laughs> find the honeycomb first. But where do we start? Let's split up. Dragon and I will cover the air. You two take the ground. Good idea. Bugs away! Bugs away! Where should we look first, Squirt? Hmm. Since we're looking for honey, I know just the bug we should talk to. Hi, Beatrice. <gasps> oh, hello, boys. We were wondering. Do bees ever forget where they build a hive? Oh, no! A bee never forgets something like that, Squirt! Really? So you know where the amber treasure is? Oh, no, sorry, I don't. But I do recall seeing some honeybees buzzing around one of the big pines at the far side of the meadow. Try over there. Okay. Thanks, Beatrice! <sighs> Beatrice said the big pine tree at the far side of the meadow. Wow, that one is big. Mm. 
nothing. Hmm. Huh? Spideris! <gasps> Hi. Are you looking for the amber treasure, too? I am looking for something. For a tasty spider sandwich and bed bug buffet. <laughs> Don't worry, Bounce. Spideris is just trying to scare us. So, Spideris, are you looking for the amber treasure, too? There's no treasure around here, so bug off. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> All mine. <laughs> Drat. Pine sap. Oh, this is a bit of a <laughs> sticky situation. Uh-oh. That's by Darius. Somebody help me. Um, what's wrong? I'm stuck. Help me this instant. You're just trying to get us to crawl up there so you can eat us. If I get my hands on you. But of course I can't, since I'm sinking in pine sap. What's wrong, Spideris? Isn't it obvious? I'm stuck, caught, ensnared, trapped. Trapped in honey? Oh, what? Huh? Not honey, pine sap. Ew, it's really sticky. Sticky indeed. You must get me out of here quickly, or else... Or else what? That! Once this pine sap hardens, I'll be amberized, just like that plant over there. And I'll turn into a fossil and be stuck here forever. Wow, you really do need our help. But Squirt, Spideris said he wanted to eat us. Oh, what it jests, my little buglet. Playful teasing. But if we stop to help him, some other bug will find a treasure. <sighs> we can't always think of ourselves. We have to be good to all bugs. Yes, bugs like me. <sighs> all right. Go get Mom, Bounce. She'll know what to do. Run as fast as you can. OK, adios. <laughs> Bounce away. Uh-oh. Oh. Run. Run! Run! Oops! Mom! <laughs> oh! Hi, Mom! Hi. Are you ready, Squirt? Ready! Bugs away! <laughs> oh, I'm not heavy enough. Pine sap? Jump in June bugs. We need to get him out fast. Uh -huh. Witch Hazel ought to do it. Witch Hazel? Oh, scary. Witch Hazel is just the name of a plant, Bounce. The juice from the Witch Hazel plant is great for cleaning things. Like pine sap off a bug's foot. See? Thanks, Mom. Uh, uh, uh. Hmm? Oh, Lily, you down here. <laughs> Why won't anyone stop to help me? Maybe it's because you're not very nice sometimes. Me? Not nice? When am I not nice? When you tell bugs you're going to eat them and you scare them on purpose. Oh, that. Squirt! Shimmer! Dragon! Did you find the treasure? Forget the treasure, you guys. Spiderus is trapped in pine sap. We've got to get him out. Whoa, dude! You're going to become a fossil. I know. It's not working. Look! It's Mom and Bounce! I'm here. Oh, Miss Spider, I, I'm so glad you're here. But stop dawdling and get me out of here! I'm afraid the thread won't be enough, Chaos. <gasps> but I have an idea. Start rubbing your leg with witch hazel, Spideris. Okay, kids. Pull on the branch as hard and as long as you can. Ready? Ah, ah totally. Okey There's my good little helpers. Heave! 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 Harder, you measly little bucklets. Pull! Keep pulling, kids! I'm so proud of all you kids. You saved Spideris. Oh, no. 
look, Mom. He's stuck again. Help! Let me out of here! Spideris, you're covered in... Honey? The Amber Treasure! My Amber Treasure. Mine, mine, mine! I found it first. If you nosy Nellies huh? hadn't come along to bug me, no oh. one would ever know. If they hadn't come along, you'd be amberized, Spideris. But, 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 but... <laughs> All right, I suppose I could share it. You can have half. The smaller half. Wow! This is enough honey for a whole year. Thanks, Spideris. Yes, yes, and a similar sentiment to you, I suppose. Now scram before I develop a taste for honey-covered dragonfly. I'm out of here. <laughs> This one's for Lily and her family. Okay, Mom. Eunice says thanks. She was so happy she almost pinched me. That sounds like Eunice. Now why don't you run this over to Mr. Mantis and we'll call it a day. Roger, Mom. <laughs> Ned, Ted, back so soon. Oh, we searched high and low, north and south, east and west, but not a single ant could find the amber treasure. We spent so much time looking. We looked everywhere. Oh. We worked so hard we were starving. We had to eat all the honey we borrowed this morning. We're so tired we don't know how we'll possibly keep on looking for the amber treasure. Is there any way at all you could possibly spare? A teeny tiny drop or, or two? Or maybe an even dozen of honey? <laughs> <laughs> sure, we found the treasure! <gasps> You can have a whole acorn full. Really? A whole acorn full? <laughs> Why, that's almost um, nearly practically perfect. Very close. Uh, it just looks so lonely on its own like that. <laughs> <laughs> you can take two. We have all that we need. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, it's nothing. Like my mom said, it's good to be good to bugs. All bugs. <sighs> no worries. 